let's just go through some of your your service offer offerings and the setups. Um, and if you can, just sort of like that the high, you know, the bird's eye view, but then kind of zero in on some specifics as well. Um, maybe let's start with your HDPE uh, wet wells. Yeah. So you'll see behind me. There's a cutaway version of an HDPE wet well. High density polyethylene has been in the market in water and wastewater for a long time. The innovation with HDPE that you see here behind me is the use of it in the wet well, which has historically or conventionally been concrete. So where does HDPE, where does it really shine in comparison to uh, its counterpart being concrete? Yeah, it's an important question because it's an innovation in the market that's relatively young. HDPE, high-density polyethylene, has been in the wastewater and the water conveyance market for a long time. It's not a new product by definition, but the use of it right. in a wet well is innovative. Now, to your point on value, it's a threefold value proposition that HDPE brings to the table when it comes to constructing a wet well. It's a monolithic structure. So you have a one-piece wet well from top to bottom with a counter buoyancy or anti-flotation base at the bottom to hold it in the ground. But that is a one-piece structure. It's one-tenth the weight of concrete. So rather than the conventional method of stacking rings together of concrete and sealing those joints, coating the interior, now you have one-piece monolithic structure that's leak-free and sets in the ground in a single piece. And the second value proposition it brings to the table is resistance to corrosion. So where hydrogen sulfide is corroding concrete wet wells, as it has for a long time, and reducing their usable life and creating a maintenance headache, HDPE is inert to corrosion from hydrogen sulfide. So it doesn't matter whether you've got hydrogen sulfide in your wet well, it won't eat the HDPE. And if you're in poor soil conditions where there may be acidic soil or something outside the wet well, it's also inert to corrosion from the outside because it's the same material. So HDPE is resistant to corrosion. It's a monolithic structure. But then the third benefit is that when you have a single piece structure like the HDPE wet well, we're able to completely fit it out with plumbing, the base elbows for the submersible pumps, the guide rails. We can put the inverts wherever they need to be or the penetrations in the structure. So by the time it arrives to a job site, it's all done. And it can set into that excavation and be backfilled just with standard backfill. And the contractor has a pump station in what would have otherwise been days or even weeks. So wow. it has quality benefits. It's got installation benefits. And it's got flexibility benefits where if another penetration needs to be added in the future, you can cut a new penetration into HDPE no problem in the field. By comparison, you can close a penetration if you no longer need it. Plug it, seal it, weld it, and you don't have to use it anymore. So it's versatile, it's durable, and it has a very, very long service life, a 100-year design life for HDPE. Do you know approximately what, how much of the business for the HDPE is, uh, is new build versus replacement? Well, a lot of engineers are seeing that if they design HDPE in a difficult application, it's going to give the maximum durability to the customer. But to your point, we are seeing a lot of replacement work go the HDPE route because typically it will come as a result of a breakdown of concrete or a leaking issue or some new infrastructure. They'll know they're going to have the problem because they've had it at another location. So they just go down the HDPE route road right out of the gate. So yeah, we're seeing a combination of both. It's a great alternate. It's a great solution for both uh, new and retrofit work. Um, what's the majority? Couldn't tell you. It's, it's split. 